you know, like Curious George. So essentially what this is, is a kit car. So you buy the parts, they ship them to you, and then you assemble it yourself. This kit car uses a lot of parts from the Subaru WRX for the 02 to 07 generation. So if we look around, there's a lot of familiarities we have with our cars. So the seats, the first thing I notice, are from a WRX. The uh, gauge cluster is from a WRX. Door handles are from a WRX. And if we keep looking around, there's more and more things. The mirrors are the same, the rear view mirror, the steering column, the pedal assembly, Assembly. A lot of these things are similar, they're just in different spots. And then if we walk around to the back of the car, we're gonna open this up a little more so we can see how the engine's fully laid out, but there's a Subaru transmission, there's a Subaru downpipe. You could definitely tell there's a Subaru motor in there because the turbo's right there, look at that. And even when we look closer, we see even the suspension components, the knuckles, the trailing arms are all from a WRX. So kind of cool to see a lot of familiarities in this package. I don't interrupt your video stream, but you got a body, I wanna cover it. We got these sweet shirts, we got a whole bunch of other ones. We got vintage black, we got regular black, we got blue and some other stuff. So check it out right now, circuitdeam.com merch section. So we got the engine cover off and once again, more familiarity. You see this is a two liter, I'm guessing it's an EJ207 from one of the JDM cars. We still have the top mount intercooler. We'll talk about in a moment. Yeah, refresh motor. So it looks really good, looks clean. There's definitely room for all the stuff. So yeah, obviously this thing is planned out to work the way it should. You see over there the gas fill line, which goes down to the tank, which is mounted somewhere. The other thing too is obviously where's the radiator. So I do see some cooling tubes over here which run to the front so the radiator is still on the front. Really neat. You can get a turbo super powered mid-engine rear wheel drive sports car for under $15,000. But let's talk about some of the things that are a little, little, little iffy. You assemble this car yourself as the customer. Now there are certain things I'm not going to knock on the owner of this. Obviously this is something that they put together over time. It's not a professional. They're not selling this as like completed car. This is something they did out of passion, but I do want to talk about some things that maybe buying a kit car like this or trying to convert something like this yourself, it might just be kind of tough to do. So first off, as far as the looks go, like I said, these are all body panels that you receive, but there are certain things that just look a little bit out of place. So a lot of the grills, a lot of the mesh stuff that you're provided, it just fits like a little bit off. Now it's hard to say if it's just the installation or the building of this that makes these things not quite fit right or if it's actually the kit itself that has the issue we'll just point out a few things that kind of are a little bit off here so you can see this door trim with the mirror there's obviously a, a very large gap between the two what else can be said about that other things that kind of just seem a little bit off a lot of the trunk prop it's wood the rear tubs or something so obviously we talked about the radiator being in the front we do have this opening here to let some air in and then the top vent as well to let the air out. Obviously we talk a lot about headlights, so let's talk about these ones. I don't know what these are out of if I'm honest. From what my research says, it's a Toyota Camry. The one thing that I did notice though is the actual reflectors are kind of twisted inwards on both sides. So what that's gonna do is instead of the headlights being like level like this, they're actually gonna be like tilted like this and kind of make an X pattern. So hard to say if it's fit and finish. Or it's, I mean, I'm guessing it bolts in and brackets in somehow so that might just be like a design thing i think overall i'm impressed by the concept of the fact that you could reuse all of your subaru stuff in a car like this and have something really unique for not a lot of money i think it really what it comes down to is like the fit and finish so a lot of the trim pieces here they added these lights it appears but i think overall if you were to spend like a you know a lot of time on this it would end up costing a lot more than that 15 grand that maybe you signed up for but it would really create a better product but at the end of the day I think a lot of people buy Subarus or like Subarus for having four doors and having the look of a Subaru and the big wing on the back. So, and all wheel drive. Yeah, for sure. This just being rear wheel. So yeah, I think as far as the, the strong points of Subaru, I don't know if this car really embodies that. I do think it's a cool idea. Maybe like a K series swap would be cool too. Yeah, comment below if we should buy one of these projects and, uh, and do it. So this was the factory 5818 built off a direct donor car. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below, have you seen these before? Have you seen one on the street? Do you have a friend that owns one? Or are all of them a little quirky like this one might be? Until then, we'll look for some other weird stuff to show you. That's it.